Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Owl Spiritual Podcast. My name is Christian Brito. If you've been following along here with my journey, this podcast is really about a transformational type of life. And because I get a lot of questions about this on my other social media, such as TikTok, I decided that I was going to do a little bit of a video on spirituality and new age spirituality, just to kind of dive into what that kind of means and what that looks like. Uh, so for those of you that are not familiar, New Age Spirituality is just kind of diving in. It's not necessarily a religion. It's just kind of a connection with that God or source energy or whatever you have a name for it. And so I just want to define what that is. And this might look different for every person. This is really just an informational type of video and educational. So hopefully you can stick on by with us and uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about what exactly is new age spirituality and spirituality in general. So in this uh, in this podcast, we're just going to be exploring that meaning of spirituality, what its connection is to religion and how it differs from um, from religion. And so we're also going to kind of delve into the practices and beliefs a little bit of what new age spirituality looks like and how it's evolved over the years. So, you know, Grab a cup of coffee and let's dive right in. So uh, right off the bat, spirituality, spirituality in general, we're not specifically talking about new age spirituality, but spirituality in general is just the idea that we're searching for a meaning or purpose in life, right? We're, we're, we're trying to figure out something bigger than ourselves, right? What happens after we pass or what is what exists beyond the human realm, our souls, our spirits. Um, it's really trying to define that meaning and purpose in one's life and beyond one's life. So it's often associated with religion, but it can exist outside of organized religion. And so spirituality is often, the way I describe it, is it's as a personal individual experience and that in and of itself can take many forms um you know a direct connection with god or the universe meditation prayer simply spending time in nature uh, but it's about connecting with something greater than ourselves and finding a sense of purpose and inner peace most of the time many people find that spirituality brings them a sense of connection and comfort and understanding. It kind of gives them that breath of life. It provides them with an inner strength to be able to go through their daily lives and their daily routines. And it can be a way to not just connect with the universe, but a way to connect with oneself and the world around us. And it's a really great way to start to access that world around us to begin to unlock the mysteries of life and the universe. Now let's talk a little bit about what that means in comparison to religion because spirituality and religion are often intertwined in our ideas, right? I, I ask people very often, hey, do you believe in God? And immediately they jump to some sort of assumption that I am talking about religion, that I'm talking about uh, Judeo-Christian religion very typically uh, based on where I live or based on their perception of who I might be. Um, or just kind of those immediate gut instincts of just our, we put people in boxes and, and our assumptions. But religion is not the same thing as spirituality. And I want to caution you to think of them as two different things. Because religion is a set of beliefs and practices. And they're shared by a community. While spirituality is more personal and individual. So you will very often see, even amongst specific religions, right, somebody, um, let's say Christianity, for example, where somebody might say, hey, I don't necessarily follow exactly what the Catholic Church or, um, you know, the Jewish the, uh, Jewish Orthodox Church or whatever uh, part of uh, the Judeo-Christian religion they follow believes, but I really care about having a connection with, with God or with Christ or whatever subpart of that religion they believe in because it's more of an individual practice for them. And so keep in mind that that's kind of the idea of where spirituality and religion branches off, where religion often includes these specific beliefs, specific rituals, specific practices, and those are passed down from generation to generation, um, from, from member of that church to member of that church. Um, spirituality is much more about a personal experience and personal beliefs 
And so one can be religious without being spiritual and also be spiritual without being religious. So think of these as two separate boxes that do very often have overlapping factors but are not the same thing. So some people find out that, you know, religion for them might be too impersonal. Or on the other side, they might feel like it brings out a sense of community and belonging. So it really kind of just depends and and what is more for you. Now I want to talk a little bit specifically about new age spirituality. It's kind of taking the idea of these personalized beliefs, um, but kind involving a little bit of the practice and specific beliefs and perhaps even rituals to that spiritual concept. So New Age spirituality is a little bit more of a modern movement that's gained popularity in recent years, but it's a blend of ancient spiritual practices such as meditation, yoga, things like that, with modern ideas of using these ideas for uh, not just those practices, but also self-help or personal growth or self-discovery or even connections with uh, nature and environmentalism. Uh, It's really about taking this personal growth and spiritual growth and involving them and meshing them together. And it encourages people to explore different practices to find out what works for them. It's often seen as a way of just kind of meshing traditional spirituality with more modern ideas to create a more holistic and a complete approach, not just to living, but to our practices and our beliefs. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about what exactly are some of the practices and beliefs of New Age spirituality, uh, because it does kind of confuse people a little bit because it encompasses such a large range of practices and uh, different beliefs. So not everyone is going to kind of fall into all of these different new age spirituality beliefs, even within the same community. So um, think of it as, I typically will compare it to uh, Christianity because there's different subsects of the same religion. And so people practicing spirituality may find that within themselves they have practices that they believe in or find uh, comforting or helpful on their spiritual journey or their spiritual evolution but may not uh, be as beneficial or work or be something that someone else practices or believes in so let's talk a little bit about each Um, the most common practice that i think you will find in uh spirituality and spiritual beliefs is meditation. It's really the connecting uh, strategy, the connecting belief system, the connecting practice for anyone that is spiritual. Uh, It's our way to not only become more mindful and ground ourselves, but also to connect to God, connect to that source energy, connect to that loving energy, connect to the universe, is to stop, pause, meditate, and be in that mindful state. Other practices may not be as common, but are things that you might see, such as Reiki healing or the use of crystals. Um, So we could talk a little bit about each one, all right? Meditation, I want to continue to elaborate because it's a practice that is central to almost anyone that is engaging in spiritual beliefs. And it's seen as our way to connect with our inner self and to find inner peace. And so just as you might see prayer in other different religions, this is the practice and belief that um, I think is not just for someone that is spiritual or it's not just for someone that is practicing New Age spirituality. It's really for anyone that is trying to connect with themselves and to find inner peace And if they wish to then connect to something grander than themselves, bigger than themselves, meditation is often the way to do that. Now, other practices like uh, Reiki or 
use of crystals or you know belief in the power of our energy to heal or the interconnectedness of things this is where it maybe can branch off into different aspects or areas that not everyone will follow along or have that similar belief but many new age spiritualists uh, believe in the power of the energy that connects all of us and for some people they might call that god for some people they might call that the universe they might call that source energy but it's this idea that this one energy connects all living things and all things in general and it's this belief that there is a higher power there is a higher consciousness and that there's an importance of that being connected to us and being connected to all that is around us i think everything besides that really is superfluous and it's not always going to align but the idea that we're all one we're connected to god this is all that loving pure energy of god and that one consciousness that we are breathing and living connected to and there is that higher power and that the way for us to kind of get in touch with that is through meditating and praying and being connected to our inner selves and finding that inner peace to be able to connect with that that is the one foundational belief like i mentioned there are other practices that you might encounter and we could talk a little bit about that uh, new age spirituality has kind of evolved over time and with new ideas and practices um, you might see different forms and different uh iterations of it over time however mindfulness is the practice of being present and aware and in the moment and i think that that will show many benefits regardless of the specific practices and beliefs that an individual might have those benefits are not just on our spiritual well-being our spiritual health but can help our mental health and even our physical well-being when we start to think about how this mindfulness practice can be applied in our day-to-day -day lives when we start to practice that mindfulness, we can then kind of elaborate a little bit more with ourselves and start to have self-compassion and start to practice this kindness and understanding with oneself, with ourselves, and just see it as an important aspect of our own personal growth and our own self-discovery. So the, these things have kind of become more accessible over the years and, and it's certain things that we've seen over time is this growth of new age spirituality um, and I, I think sometimes we might get a little bit concerned because there's things that maybe don't resonate with us right uh, not every new age uh, spiritualist is um, somebody that believes in you know practicing Reiki or um, you know uh, making a spell jar or meditating under the full moon or the use of crystals and that's perfectly okay right everybody's going to have their own practices and their beliefs and they're all going to different but as long as we can understand the interconnectedness of each of us and understand um the beauty of this higher power and higher consciousness um then that's kind of the framework of what that spiritual belief might look like um, I am very much of the idea that everyone's path is individual and their own. And so regardless of whoever you are, I do welcome you to kind of just consider what it is that your belief is. What is it that's out there for you and what is it that you resonate with? Because it may not be the same as me. And I think that's fine. I think we each have to find our own path and figure out what resonates with us. Otherwise, what is kind of the point of even evaluating any of this, right? We have to understand what is our purpose? Why are we here? And how did we get here? Those are some fundamental questions that humans have been asking since the dawn of man. But it's something to consider. And hopefully this little bit of information is something that might help you if you've had some questions. As always, if you aren't already and would like to subscribe, you may do so. Uh, and I would welcome you to drop some questions and anything that you might want to know about 
this podcast or any of the videos that I put up. And as always, stay blessed.